All right, well, it's uh, the second day, or the next day, after the uh, paint work on the engine bay, and uh, as Matt and Darren say in their videos, uh, it still looks good, it still looks shiny. So, uh, anyway, we're not going to work in here today, we're going to uh, do a little bit of work, but we're going to do it outside. It's uh, just a gorgeous day, perfect day out there, so... And I don't want to get too much stuff stirred up and flying around in here, uh, given the second day. And I uh, got a uh, message from Matt about, you know, waiting a few days. I'd ask him, you know, how long I needed to wait. So I was going to try to put the suspension back on and roll it out outside um, to get a look at what it looks like in the sun. But I'll probably do that in the next couple of days. So we got plenty of other stuff we can do. And uh, I'm also going to uh, show you my air compressor set up just to watch the... Uh, video of Greg uh, showing his air compressor setup and uh, that looks pretty nice and very similar to what I have so I uh, thought I'd just uh, share that with you guys so anyway we'll uh, come back in a little bit all right here's the setup we started with you can see it's just a janky cheap uh, water trap and then we didn't have a hose reel just had the hose uh, draped over the compressor all right so what we did was ended up using some half inch copper and uh, made a series of um, vertical uh, runs and we've got about 50 feet of uh, pipe there and uh, you know we had heard that that was the the length you needed uh, before the uh, you know the end of your hose so uh, we didn't want to route it around the room so we just chose to keep it all contained in one area and you see the four uh, drain valves that we've got and it's interesting that the, the one on the far right always has a lot of water in it and progressively moving to the left they have less and less water in them when we empty them out so uh, it uh, seems to have worked out pretty good. The compressor uh, there is not the one we have now. That's a 60 gallon. Uh, we now have an 80 gallon that's, um, that's 16 uh, CFM at 90 PSI. And uh, this uh, hose reel configuration is a little bit different now. And uh, we'll show you what that looks like. All right, all those pictures you saw that uh, we took there were when we first got this installed and we had not started on any body work on this car yet. So, um, but since then, we've we've added uh, this uh, the Vilbis Finish Line Three um, filter system here uh, with a regulator uh, here as well. So we have two regulators on the system, and um, you know since we've uh, had this installed, the the copper pipes and all the traps that you saw in the pictures, uh, water traps with the uh, with the valves on them. Uh, you know we empty those probably once a week, and I've yet to ever get any water out of this. Um, so, um, anyway, just wanted to show you that we've added this uh, piece to it. It wasn't in our original design. So, uh, anyway, there you go, our compressor setup. All right, guys, uh, one of the things that uh, we're uh, going to work on today is this fender. Uh, as you might have saw in one of our previous videos, we uh, patched this fender right here. In fact, I'll show you a picture of that right now. So, as you saw in that picture, um, you know, we patched this lower section here and at the time we didn't really know what we were doing and, and got in a hurry with the welding. That was a couple of years ago that we did that and um, we warped the panel. So uh, anyway, uh, it, it took a lot of body filler in this thing and the, uh, and the contour on on this edge here, hopefully you can see that. Um, you know, is, is too sharp and it's got so much body filler on it that we can't really bend it or straighten it. So we're going to ground all that off and come back and straighten this out and, and uh, see if we can get it fitting better. I've been dreading doing this project for a while and uh, we've got to get on it and get it done. So I'm going to shut the garage door and grind all this off outside and um, so that we don't disturb too much of the paintwork that we did yesterday. So we'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, I was going to try to show you these fenders uh, in the middle of that video, but editing on my iPhone and couldn't split it and add these in, so here they are at the end. Um, just wanted to show you what the uh, what it looked like, the patch we made, and um, you know, and uh, and welded that on. So uh, anyway, we'll show you the rest of the uh, rest of the grinding. All right, here's a close-up shot of this uh, fender. You can see uh, the the um, the lip that we folded over here 
was pretty thick as well but you can see there's at least an eighth of an inch of body filler on there maybe even more and uh, I have no idea what we were doing or why we did that but it's like I said it was a couple of years ago when we did these fenders so we've learned a lot since then and we're gonna take this all down and do it the correct way all right we just use a 36 grit stick on Merca disc on a uh, DA and I this one's got the aggressive throw on it. I don't know what it is. I've got another one that's got the, uh, what is it, 330 seconds throw that's more for uh, sanding clear uh, coat and that kind of thing. So, anyway, um, you can see, I don't know what the deal is. This this edge is so, ended up being so thick. You know, we put a door skin on one of the doors as well, and uh, the fold on it was just, you know, much better than this. This is. Uh, turned out thick and it's pretty rigid you know and so this radius here is is too tight and I would need to get it relaxed you know and bent out uh, bent this way so not sure how I'm gonna do that and, and not beat it up too bad but it needs to go quite a bit because it's just sucked in and hugged in to the to the body too much and the fender just doesn't fit on there and when it does fit it just doesn't look right because at the rocker it doesn't meet up very well down there so anyway We've got the edge uh, feathered back, and it probably just had maybe between a sixteenth and an eighth of eighth of filler on there. And you can see that I started out with uh, the Rage Gold, and then uh, later in the stages we had switched over to um, the Quantum One, and it came with the the red hardener, which is the uh, slow hardener, uh, because we got it got it in the summertime and didn't need it uh, hardening up so quick. So anyway, we'll. Uh, We'll keep working on it, and uh, you know the key thing is we got to be able to fit it on and off the car uh, to, to make sure we get the right contour. And obviously, we can't do that with the paintwork that we did. So we're uh, so that's probably all we're going to do on this today. All right, just going to show you real quick. Here's the back side of the fender, and you can see where uh, where we put this patch in. We didn't really ground the welds down on the back side. So um, and then uh, we also replaced uh, sectioned in this support brace uh, inner structure here too because it was uh, pretty well rotted out and um, I think what's keeping that radius like it is is I don't remember what we did here but it looks like we welded this thing all the way in on, on the radius so um, and that's not ground down either so I think what we can do is probably just come back and grind that weld down right there and uh, you know get it pretty flat and smooth and that should uh, allow it to be a little more flexible and we can get the uh, the outer uh, radius here looking like we want it so anyway we'll uh, we'll keep working on it and uh, go from there all right so we went back and ground down the welds a little bit and uh, worked on the uh, radius with a uh, hammer and dolly just kind of put the dolly on the back side and just worked it kind of uh, in easy steps uh, working up and down and I don't know if you can tell by looking at it but from the previous video uh, the radius is uh, uh, less severe and more relaxed so it's good enough to do a test fit unfortunately like I said we can't do that because we just painted the dang thing so we'll be uh, this will be the first thing we get to as soon as the, the paint jobs are ready so anyway we'll call that a wrap for today thanks guys